No, no, no worries. No it's okay. So our next sp uh, speaker uh, before uh, coffee break is uh, Lee Hong from University of Chicago. He will speak integrative genomics analysis identifies distinctive progno prognostic subgroups in pediatric cancers. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, sorry about the delay. Um, Firstly, I'd like to thank the organizer for providing me the opportunity to present our work. Um, and so I, I'd like, today I'd like to talk about um, a data analysis framework um, and some findings uh, to uh, use uh, multiple genomic data to stratify uh, pediatric uh, patients. As you know, pediatric cancers are very rare, uh, also very diverse and understudied. Uh, by saying that, um, you can find on, the, on that um, figure um, that usually every year there are about 200,000 pediatric patient, uh, patients uh, which are diagnosed uh, as uh, cancer patient, and uh, among them, about 80,000 uh, children will die from the cancer. And pediatric cancer is also very diverse. Uh, it could happen in different parts of the uh, human body, and it has also uh, different kinds of uh, prognosis. And to elucidate this point, uh, I'll show you this um, table. Um, there are two tumors here, one is called a uh, Williams tumor, the other is a uh, rhabdoid tumor, both are the pediatric kidney cancers. Um, the Williams tumor is a little bit well uh, studied, but the cases here in the States is about 500 patients each year. Uh, it has a uh, actually very good uh, prognosis. In contrast, the rhabdoid tumor Every year here in the States, there are only 20 to 25 cases are uh, diagnosed. And the survival is really low. It's about uh, 20 to 30 percent. Um, and so traditionally, those, um, traditionally those data, uh, uh, the, the classification of those tumors is based on the uh, and a lot, uh, uh, and lithom and, and lithomic, uh, locations, but um, th these days there are lots of uh, uh, high throughput uh, genomic data are generated, so people are turning their focus on using those uh, um, those high throughput molecular data to do the patient classification or uh, subtyping. Um, so one approach is to use those integrative omics analysis um, to uh, stratify the patients. Uh, recently, uh, our team, uh, in collaboration with other groups uh, from U Chicago, uh, has utilized the integrative approach called uh, similarity network fusion to uh, stratify the metastatic. Uh, metastatic uh, uh, colon cancer uh, patients. There are other groups, they also uh, develop different uh, data analysis frameworks to stratify, for example, uh, neuroblastoma. So we want to use our previous experience um, to apply those experience on the pediatric cancer stratification um, in order to identify the prognostic patient subtypes. We also want to uh, co uh, correlate the patient subtypes with survival data and um, identify the prognostic factors and the mechanism, hopefully, for those uh, uh, poor uh, outcomes patients. To demonstrate our approach, we develop a data, uh, data analysis framework 
to analyze the multi-dimensional genomic data um, on those two tumors we just mentioned, uh, Williams tumor and the Ravatoy tumor. Uh, we use the data from the target uh, cohort. For those of you who are not familiar with target, um, it's not the department store here in the States. It is, uh, uh, you, you could call it the pediatric uh, equivalent to TCGA. So uh, we adapted a uh, uh, network fusion method called affinity network fusion. Um, uh, it can be seen as an improved version of uh, similarity network fusion method. So our framework looks like this. So we, first we obtain the different types of genomic data, uh, including RNA-seq, microRNA-seq, uh, methylation, and copy number array data, and uh, also mutation data. So for each type of data, uh, we did a feature selection uh, to reduce the feature space. Then for each type of uh, data, we construct a patient similarity network, um, use a, they call it a full connected affinity networks. Then we um, remove those um, edges between the patients, uh, which has a, a weak support evidence they are uh, similar to each other. After that, we combine those different data types uh, with their networks to one single network, and uh, we call it a fusion. And for that fused uh, network, we applied a spectral clustering uh, with model selection to de determine the optimal number of clusters we have. Um, once we get those uh, optimal number of clusters, we can do uh, survival analysis, um, pathway analysis, and uh, all the other uh, uh, kinds of analysis. So by applying the uh, framework on the Williams tumor, we are able to stratify uh, the patients into three um, subtypes. Uh, as you can see from the kaplan meyers plot, uh, they are um, statistically, they, they, they have this, uh, a statistically different um, survival probabilities. To confirm those, um, our, uh, to confirm our subtypes are independent prognostic predictors. Uh, so we also run the Cox regression model um, to to see if they are independent from other clinical prognostic uh, predictors. Uh, it is the, the fund is a little bit small, but uh, uh, believe me, they are uh, statistically different. We uh, further identify the differential expressed genes and uh, uh, differentially methylated uh, genes for all the subtypes. Uh, especially for the uh, for, for the subtype with a poor outcome, we also try to see if the publicly uh, av uh, it's a publicly uh, av available mutations are they um, enriched in our subtypes? Uh, it looks like they are not enriched in our subtypes. Um, so, in order to investigate the biological functions for those uh, for those uh, pathways uh, for, for those subtypes, we, we run the ensemble gene set enrichment analysis. Um, so, we found out uh, the subtype with a poor outcome has a decreased cell differentiation and increased cell uh, proliferation. Um, we were able to. Uh, use our data frame uh, that, uh, or our uh, our method to uh, identify two subtypes for the uh, rhabdoid to tumor. Again, they are the, uh, they have the statistically different uh, in terms of prognostic uh, prediction. 
And also, uh, the poor outcome subtype shows the increased cell di differentiation, which could provide a hint uh, for developing a new biomarker and uh, uh, maybe a drug target. So in conclusion, um, we are able to identify uh, stratify the pediatric cancer patients use an integrative approach. And those subtypes demonstrate the distinct biological functions. And we are in the middle of extending our framework to other diseases and hopefully to include more uh, data types. Uh, finally, I would like to th uh, thank my colleague, Zui Bao and uh, Ho Hei Andre. Uh, and I also like to thank uh, other uh, colleagues in Center for Research Informatics uh, and the Department of Pediatrics. Um, thank you all for your attention. Hi, thanks for the talk. How do you fuse your networks? Do you just uh, take all the, some of all the edges, or? No, no. It's, uh, it's basically uh, use, um, use a K near, nearest labor. Um, so they basically, oh, okay. uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so, so they use some, some kind of a curl function. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you. So they run work to do that. Thank all the speakers.